I love early tank history because it's just so incredibly weird. With my favorite example of this being that early tanks could be distinguished as either male or female tanks. When the British were developing the Mark series of tanks, if a tank had a six pound gun or greater on it, that made it a male tank. Meanwhile, female tanks were equipped with lighter cannons or most oftentimes just machine guns. The reason why they did this is because the idea was that these tanks were going to work as teams. The males would move in first and clear out any hard defensive positions, such as bunkers or things like that that the enemy could be hiding in. And then the females would move up close behind and once they were actually over the enemy trench, would then spray everything down with machine gun fire. In other words, anti-material versus anti-infantry. But that then makes me wonder about things like the TNCA Salinas, the first tank that was produced outside of Europe and it was made in Mexico. Because that thing was equipped with a Hotchkiss five-barrel rotating cannon, and I, I really don't even know how to begin to describe this. So if you want to hear that story, you should check out my full YouTube video here in the comments.